Hello guys, welcome back to Journey of Life. I slept through the night, I survived, and I started gathering some materials this morning. I've already placed a workstation, haven't built it yet, but we don't gather the materials I need for it, so let's grab our hammer. Ten straight sticks, at least that's what it says to begin with. And it is built. Alright, so now to interact with it, I'll put my hammer away, come on up to it, I'll press the E button. Now a whole bunch of things I can build. Um, we got craftables. Tools, weapons, stationary pottery. Same categories as we have on, our, on ourselves when we can kind of craft some things. Um, stations, something I definitely need kind of right, not, not right away, but um, a grinding stone. I need a grinding stone because my axe is already worn out. Um, like I said, I'm just going to place these anywhere for right now. Uh, I can rotate that any which way I want, but uh, right now we'll just go ahead and place that here. Uh, do I have any straight sticks? Apparently I got a couple. Um, okay, so I need one bamboo log. Alright, so there is bamboo around here. I just saw it a little while ago. And I also need, hang on a second, what else I need? A stone wheel. So I think I need a flat rock. If I come in here, a uh, craftable stone wheel, I need a flat rock and some bamboo. Um... I mean, I could go ahead and make another axe. Uh, I may have to. Yeah, see, tool is broken. Oh, man, that's going to really, really... Can I use a pickaxe? It may sound kind of stupid. All right, so I'm going to I'm gonna have to make another, another axe, I suppose. Uh, for now, I guess we'll go ahead and just take our current axe and drop that down here. All right, so, okay, what do I need to make an axe? Tools, uh, wooden hammer, an axe. I need a sharpened rock M. And I need a high-density rock. So I need to, I, I'll get myself a rock. Um, I'll get some bamboo, and we'll get the sharpen wheel built. So I was hoping I could do that without uh, building another axe, but I guess I don't really have a choice. And then, um, yeah, so the fireplace is built. Uh, I need my axe to go ahead and make a actually i can do that right now uh, hang on a second let's go back in here uh stations so to make firewood yes i want to make firewood i think it's gonna be in here firewood station let's go ahead and place that i'm going to place it down right by uh, i'm trying to figure out how i'm going to do this here i want to make sure i put it we're going to put that right here boom and all i need to do is pick up one of these and if i grab my hammer i, I have my hammer out if i grab my hammer Boom. So now what I can do is I can grab one of those, put it on here, and I can make firewood. But I don't have an axe. So I need to grab a density rock, and then I can start uh, getting some bamboo cut on down. Then my grinding will be all set, and I can repair my axes. Uh, I think even my pickaxe I can get on there. So now i am got to go around and find a high-density rock somewhere. It shouldn't be too hard to find, so he says. Uh, but yep, yeah, now it's time to go out and gather some material. Okay, so new axe is made. I'm out. I just gathered a flat rock. Now I'm headed on back to my crafting table or working station. Uh, craftables, uh, stone wheel. Go ahead and craft that. And if I bring up my hammer. Uh, now we need some straight sticks and some fiber rope. Okay, some more material. Or I, I didn't know that. Uh, straight solid sticks. Um, I do have plenty of these. So now if I grab my axe like this and... Gotta be careful how many times you hit it because then your straight solid sticks will turn into... Um, short solid sticks. Alright, so now I need some fiber rope. Uh, apparently I had some on me, so grinding stone is all set. So if I were to pick up that axe there, I can go ahead and fix it. But I got plenty of other things I need to do. Uh, as you can see, my water level is getting low. So let me go in here. I do have some more coconuts. We'll go ahead and use these up now. There should be some coconut trees around here somewhere. Uh, but now I need to collect clay ore, uh, craft handmade clay pot, and make a hard made clay pot. So the one thing I, I probably should do now that I got an axe, because I know what I, know what I need to do. Yeah. I need to go ahead and upgrade the fireplace because um, I got to make clay. And uh, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. But in the meantime, did I? Is that too far away? No, it's not. Uh, so if I grab that, put that on here, grab my axe. Uh, no, I said my axe. 
boom firewood uh, just like that let's go ahead and make some firewood so the nearby area is basically I think it says three meters is the area you can cover so there's some things here I want to keep around here uh, but that should be good enough firewood for now so to upgrade things, uh, so you can see the wrench, which is a durability, like I explained last episode. Fuel tank is a fuel, and the up arrow is um, how you upgrade. So four straight sticks will upgrade it, and I don't think I have any of those. Uh, apparently I did. Uh, not that many, though. So right now I'm destroying some things over here on the ground. No, that's your hammer that you're using. There you go. So I throw a lot of materials around the workstation for now because that's where we're building a lot of things. So if it's near the workstation, I can go ahead and build things that way. And then I need one stone wheel, which is fine. Uh, so I need another flat rock, which is fine. So we got to collect some clay ore. I need a flat stone while I'm out here. Now clay ore you gather with uh, this wonderful shovel that I have here. And I know I'm just going to go to where I used to get my material before. Like I said, I used to build over here. This looks like a clay ore deposit right here, which it is. So you go ahead and use my shovel. And I'm going to gather a decent amount of clay here. Because I know I'm going to need to build a few things. So I'm going to just go ahead and... Uh, no, I'm hammering on the clay itself, not the clay deposit. There we go. Make sure that you're pointed on the deposit and not on... A piece of clay. All right, that's good enough for now. Did I leave myself a lot of room? No, I did not. All right, that that's good. Uh, and I don't have any room for a flat rock, and I can't put my shovel away because I mean inventory is full. Um, yeah, inventory management 101 in here. Uh, if they ever make a bigger backpack for this game, that'd be great. All right, we're gonna come back over here. Uh, interact with the station. Is it under craftables? Oh, pottery. It's going to be under pottery, I do believe. Handmade clay pot. We're going to head and make... I will actually make two of them. And there they are. Well, there's one of them on the table. And I will put the other one on the table. So right now you can see handmade clay pot raw. I cannot use them because they need to be baked. And that's what I need to do with the fireplace. So I need to go back out now and find a flat rock so I can make a stone wheel, put that on top of the fireplace. We'll get the fireplace up and roaring and we'll cook those so um, we can put water into them. That's all we really need to do. Um, as for those, I am gonna try to build uh, later on. There's a water collecting station. Right now I'm just looking for a flat rock somewhere. A lot of clay deposits over here. There's actually a stone. There should be a stone right over here. Yep. So this is where uh, previously, before I started making videos, I started, I was building my base over here. It's not quite as flat as where we're building now. So it should be just a little bit easier. And you'll see why in the near future. Um, used to be a lot of flat rocks around here. There's a flat rock. I could use my pickaxe and went up to a rock and started chiseling away at it and I could have got a whole bunch of material out of it. Let's run back to our station. Yeah, the beginnings of survival, you just need to, you know, slowly build up some things. As you can see right now, they got me for ore preparation next. Now that kind of glitched out for me when I was, um, when I was testing out the game. That glitched out for me, so I'm wondering if it's going to do the same for me here or not. Uh, I hope Hopefully it won't. I didn't think it was that far around the lagoon here to get to where I used to build, but that's fine. All right, coming to the crafting station, craftables. No, I'm in pottery, craftables. Stone wheel, will craft that right away. And now we'll come back over here. Perfect. So now let's go ahead. Do I have my fire starter on me? I do. Uh, so what you can do is cl I can click on the fire, hit tab, and see all this. This is right next to me. So I can go ahead and put it in there. Fireplace is full. Uh, let me put the fire start in my hand. And the first time I did this, it took me a while to get a fire going. 
Well, that time it uh, did it pretty darn quick. Do I have room in my inventory? Not a whole lot. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to drop my fire starter on the ground here. Now I'm going to grab the clay pots, like that. Come on over to here, and we'll drop the clay pots right on our little tabletop. Now if I scroll over it, you can see the temperature rising up, and it still says raw. That one says baked. That one says baked. So I'm going to grab these. And actually, I'm going to put one of them into my hot bar. So, hot bar number six. So, if I come to the water, it says press on uh, the bottom left-hand corner, press E to fill. And you can see it filling up in the center of the screen, and it's brown. Oh, no, it's brown. That means it's dirty water. I could drink it. I would lose a little bit of health from it, uh, but not a whole lot. All right, let's go ahead back down here. We'll fill the other one. Press E to fill. But I mean, the coconuts do give us uh, water as it is, but it's always good to have nice water around here. And I think that one's already done. So, yeah, if I scroll over to this one here, you can see on the right-hand side, uh, this one here, that one's brown. Well, just turn blue. You saw it turn blue. So I'm going to take these off here. And for now, I'm going to go ahead and put them on this table on over here. Um, what do I have on me? I got a lot of stuff. So I'm going to just start dropping some rocks on the ground. Uh, some stuff I don't, I don't want to say I don't need. We will need it. Um, the sticks, I should be dropping the sticks out in the open so I can see them better because I may have to cut them on down. And the fiber rope I'll put down here as well. So now I'm going to go out and collect 10 ore. Well, wait, what's my water and food? We're doing good. All right, so I'm going to go out and collect some uh, iron ore, but I need to place a core crushing station. So we'll come in here because uh, ore is kind of, um, it's, a, it's a, bit, a little bit of a process. All right, so let me just try to figure out. The smelter is probably going to go about here for now. So I'm going to put this right there. And I don't think I have any solid sticks on me. I do not. So let's go ahead and build this up first. And pick up those. All right, hammer time. Uh, fiber rope, I uh, put that down over here, so I know it's over here. Just come over here, uh, 12 of them, grab them all. And let me guess, I'm gonna need another flat stone, right? Um, can we, oh, I'm, I need two more straight sticks. I, I, I knew that. And those building the things that are crucial to surviving here. And one flat rock. All right, so let me come back over here, drop down what I don't need. Like I said, some of it may seem a little bit tedious, but the, the work I've found, it hasn't been too bad. Um, so I need a flat stone, and while I'm out here, I might as well collect the 10 iron ore. Uh, we can go ahead and do that. We got a pickaxe and everything. So pretty much right where I was. Now the one thing I do like about around here is that there are rabbits. And uh, killing rabbits can be kind of tricky in the early stages. But it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. There's some more clay ore there. A lot of clay around here. Now, I didn't find much around here that would uh, be in danger to me, but that doesn't mean things won't be around here now. So rocks like this, this is clay ore right here. So let's grab my handy dandy uh, pickaxe. And we need to collect 10 iron ore. Now, as you gather, I mean, uh, sorry, as you build up better uh, uh, tools and whatnot, you probably get more deposits. Oh, a flat rock. Uh, thank you. I'll take that. And quite a bit of iron ore. So that should collect all that wonderfully. I got plenty of room to do that. 
Uh, let's go ahead and put that away. This is why I built my, I was building my base around here, but I did run into some problems because this slight incline gave me some problems when I was building the sawmill, which <laughs> I would love to get to the sawmill today, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, the sawmill is very crucial into building because um, it is definitely worth it. Oh, I got a flat rock right there. Let me go ahead and grab that. No, flat rock. I want that. Thank you. Might as well grab it. I got the room. I'm probably going to need it. So run back here. I probably should spend a little time after this episode run down. So also I should mention that we're not that far away from the sea. You can kind of see the sea, 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 uh, the ocean. Uh, right over that horizon right there is a big, I think there should be a big cliff. And uh, the sea should be right there for future uh, parts of getting some salt and such. All right, there's our ore crushing station. All right, so the iron ore that I gathered just needs to go... Actually, might as well put it right on here. All right, now grab my hammer. I had my hammer. So now I got to crush the iron uh, that I collected. So this is a little bit of a process. You can kind of see it's breaking down into iron ore ball raw. I was actually on their Discord channel today and some people were posting pictures of their bases and settlements and oh my god, there are some some of you people out there know how to build. <laughs> I'll just say that. Um, as for me, oh wow. Um, yeah, I know I'm hitting the wrong ones apparently. Uh, yeah, me, I'm building. Uh, it's questionable. But to each his own, some people may look at my building and go, oh, that looks pretty good. I look at my building, it's like, that's not the way I wanted it to look. I got tons of, of balls here. Uh, that that sounds wrong. Um, iron all iron or balls. Uh, yeah, I'll say it. Yeah, I'm out of stamina. So what I need to do is place this smelting furnace. Let's put my hammer away. So like I said in the beginning, I'm going to just be placing things where it seems fit. Uh, smelting furnace. We'll place this, and I want it next to the fire wood. And then also next to our ore crushing station. Uh, okay, so what do I need here? Uh, clay. Do I still have clay on me? Did I? Did I uh, probably not. I think I only grabbed four clay. Uh, I need to go back and grab that clay. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, I, I I build things. It's not the way I thought it should look. And um, uh, yeah, I think my first real building uh, came along in Ark Survival Evolved and. <laughs> I hated some of my buildings and people come over and like, oh, this looks pretty nice. I look at it, I'm like, eh, it's not the way I want it. And then I look at other people who are really into building. I'm like, wow, that is that is amazing. I wish I could remember which uh, clay deposit I was at. So how about if I just get up my shovel and uh, we'll just go ahead and, and smash another one up here. Yeah, so for me, uh, this is where the uh, the process on the right-hand side kind of got bugged out. Um, it says collect iron nuggets, and I was making iron nuggets left and right and doing a bunch of that, and it kind of like stuck there. So uh, some people said, oh, if you just reload the game, it should be fine, and it never did. It never did. All right, let me grab all this clay because I think I need more than what it says that I need, and I'll grab that as well. But you're going to see as we move along here, there is a lot to this game with building and crafting. And how everything runs is pretty pretty interesting and how they're doing it. That's why I'm loving it. And I said, well, I need I need to bring the game to you people because, um, I mean, it, it's a wonderful game, at least in my opinion anyways. All right, so let's go ahead and smack some clay on it here. Uh, high density rock. Do I have any high density rock over here? I think I got one and that's it uh, all right um, all right you know let me just have some of my coconut here because it gives me some food as well 
And that's good for now. So let me go and find some high density rock. I wanted to find quite a bit of actually let me get my pickaxe out. I know where there's a decent rock not far from here. And uh, I'll smash the heck out of it. And we'll grab some high density rock. Hopefully. I mean, I know I'll get some out of it, but hopefully I get enough out of it. So there's some things, there's some uh, rocks you see on the ground that's like, oh, that's a rock. And you walk up to it and put the dot on it and it shows as nothing. Uh, this is the rock I used, first of all. What kind of rock is this? Oh, that's a clay deposit. Kind of looks different colors. So here's, a, here's one you think, oh, there's a rock and it's nothing. Uh, but if we go in here, stone deposit. Let's use my pickaxe until um, this stone is completely gone. Now, I've been told things will respawn as in trees. I don't know if rocks and deposits will, like this. But right now, I know where this is located. All right, so high density rock. Oh, there's a whole bunch of it here. And man, I did not leave myself a lot of space at all. Uh, all right, flat rock needs to go. Because I know I need that much. Is that, no, it's a jagged rock. You know, I'll drop that down as well. Ah, uh, inventory 101. Now, the one thing I will make um, eventually, uh, I, wait a minute, can I, I might be able to make that now, is there is a wheelbarrow that you can bring around with you that can hold quite a bit. So I may need to go ahead and do that. But sometimes um, it can get, a, I, didn't, I didn't make it on mine, but I saw other players use it. And uh, a lot of people said it gets a little laggy. So so right now our base, if you want to call it that, our settlement is getting a little, it's getting a little uh, clustered here. One, our air chamber. I don't remember making an air chamber before. Uh, air chamber. Craft that. And then, of course, I got to come over here. And I do believe I got to bake it. So I put it on there. It says raw. And we wait a while. Uh, my fire is going out. Uh, hurry up before it goes out completely. That way I don't have to start it. Oh, the fire did go out. Ah, it was still going. You saw it. Um, put that here. Give it a good, good pokey poke. There we go. The temperature is going up on the stone itself. And that is baked. We'll grab that. Put that in there. High density rock. Oh, I don't have enough. Ah, yeah, yeah. I, I need to make that wheelbarrow, I think. And move it around. Because that way, every time I come over here. See, that's why I built my base over there last time. Everything is just over there. Right, high density rock and more clay. Perfect. Now we are all set with the smelting furnace. Um, so now what I want to do is we'll do this and we will throw some firewood in there. Now if I come up, no, I need, uh, I need my fire starter. Let me put that in my hand. All right, actually, let me go ahead and poke the fire, get that up and going. Uh, open this up here. And if I grab iron ore balls, I don't think I can put that. Actually, I didn't need to do that. I could have just transferred them over. So now I got to put these in here. I don't know how many can hold. I kind of forgot. And I can upgrade this as well. And I think that could have been my problem before is I upgraded this before I was supposed to. Uh, so while we're waiting, let me grab my hammer. 
And I gotta smash some of the iron I still got here. Yeah, I know the ore needs to be baked. I, right now, I'm I'm smashing it to get to the iron ore ball raw. There we go. And are these iron ore? They're baked, and those are raw. All right, so let me grab all those. And now I'll put the raw ones in here. So it's a bit of a process. Um, is that all that's going to go in there? Uh, I guess so. Okay, close it. Close it. There we go. And now iron ore baked. Put these on here. And if you're wondering, yes, uh, these, in the future, there isn't, uh, I don't want to say automated one, but we can do this later on automatedly. Did I just say automatedly? I think I did. Uh, automatically? Uh, yeah, we'll get into all that later on. Just keep on smashing. Of course, I don't know if I'm hitting the, the baked. Yeah, just one left. There we go. Uh, let me go ahead and pick these up just because if I pick up 25, it'll bring me to the next quest. So it didn't, it didn't bug out on me this time, which is great. Hey, it didn't bug out on me. All right, so we're all set there. And I'm just going to drop these back on the ground right here. And I did get one aluminum nugget out of it as well. Now let me go ahead and put my fire starter down. Just right here. Be fine. Uh, build a workstation. Interact with the workstation. Oh, I got to upgrade it. And I'm getting kind of low. Uh-oh, it's my last coconut. Uh, oh, Does anyone know what time it is? I have no idea. Um, yeah, so next step they want me to do is upgrade the workstation. So if I come here, uh, we'll upgrade this. And now it says I need just 25 straight sticks. Yeah, okay. Uh, so you say. So you say. Um, all right, I think I got enough water in me to go on down here. And hopefully, I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to find my way back. Now before, I didn't live on coconuts too much up here. I, once I got here, I lived on rabbit meat and drinking water. But uh, early stages, coconut is pretty darn good. I'm just trying to see... Okay, nice little access way down here. And there are coconut trees. Hurry up and get some coconuts down here. And I probably should. Shall just take all those like that. Uh, palm two, palm leaf. I'll just remember a lot of this stuff is down here. I think a couple trees will be fine for now. And same thing. Okay, grab those and I'll leave. I'll have to remember this wood is down here. I'll have to come down and collect it later on. What is... I don't know if I can use a seaweed or not. So you can swim underwater and you can see you got lung capacity you have to deal with as well. Just be careful. There's some areas that you can't get back out of the water on. So just be careful of that. Alright, so now I got coconuts. I'm good for a while. Is 
It's not a bad little starter area, but then again, like I said, I think this is the only area that I know of that has quote unquote fresh water. And at nighttime, if you're wondering, if you got a fire going, you can see the fire from a decent distance. But if it's down over horizon, I don't think you're going to be able to see it. And you can put the fires out if you want to. Um, but I choose not to because I am lazy. I mean, let me go ahead and put these on the ground here. And then grab my hammer. Hopefully the coconut doesn't go smaller. I don't think it does. See, so I got three more left to chop on up. Two more. There we go. Coconut halves. All right, let me just pick up a, a few of them. And use. Use. And might as well hydrate myself all the way up there. Yeah, you can see the sun is starting to go down. Uh, I got five sticks here. Like I say, just got to be careful. I think what you do it twice, you should probably just pick them on up because... I don't need short solid sticks. I need straight solid, solid sticks. So I don't want to break those down. All right. That's a lot of straight sticks. That's upgrade for the little section that I'm doing. But that sun is really shining through here, isn't it? Um, that's all my straight sticks. Uh, I still got some clay left over. That's fine. Um... All right, so what I probably should do, wait a minute, because uh, I haven't used it yet. So if I go in here, and where's my axe? So my wooden axe, actually, it's not damaged that much at all. All right, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. So fruit trees are the best way to get uh, straight solid sticks. And right now, I'm just trying to look for them. But it's a little hard the way the sun's shining through. I see a lot of bamboo. I need to be a little bit careful because uh, I forgot where those snakes were. There we go. Now I can see a little bit better. So here is a fruit tree right here. The khaki tree. If I use your axe, I should get like a good amount of a good amount of straight sticks out of it. Now these will produce seedlings and you can, yeah, there's six sticks right there, uh, str uh, long solid sticks and also, uh, let me grab some twine as we're here as well. Uh, another fruit tree over here. Yeah, I need to build that flipping wheelbarrow so I can go out and really gather stuff and put a whole bunch in there. Kind of forgot about the wheelbarrow. A uh, whole bunch of straight sticks there. Perfect. Like I said, we'll grab all that. And what I'll do is... Uh, crafting. Oh, I got crafting up. Uh, all that twine I got. Let me make some twine ropes. I'm going to need a whole bunch of it to begin with. Alright, that can craft. So the second day here is starting to come to a close. You saw the sun going down. We got a lot of flat rocks over here. Alright. So you can see my fire at a good distance. That's actually the smelter that's going. And I probably should be uh, doing that, but um, I'm doing other things right now, aren't we? Hopefully I got enough straight sticks. If I don't, I got enough other sticks to go ahead. So now we've upgraded the workstation. So interact with the workstation. Craft a two-handed saw. Do I have clay on me? I do. So now I need to go to pottery because now I need to craft a mold to make a hand saw. Uh, and that is this one right here. And I only got three out of four clay. Of course, that's all I got out of it. Oh, come on. The sun's going down too. Hoping to get this. I was hoping to get this done before the sun went down, but, um, we can do a little bit in the dark. I think, I think I see a clay deposit right over here. Good. Yeah, I don't want to be out too late because the wolves will come out. So. Oh, 
I'll leave those there. Put the shovel away. Because I not have saved, I have not saved the progress yet today at all. So yeah, you can see the fire is going. Matter of fact, what I probably should do is come here and there we go. See how I put more firewood in there and it just lit up like like a candle. All right, let's come over to here. Uh, pottery, where is that two-handed saw? Let's go ahead and craft that. And then if I come over, now why did the fire go out? I'm getting robbed on this fire here. All right, let me go ahead and put this in my hand. Give it a poke. There we go. Uh, where's my clay mold? Right here. Put it on there and you can see it's going to say it's raw. All right, I'm going to pick that up. And right now I'm going to put that down over here. Oh, that's right. I can't do this because I have not upgraded this yet. Oh, that may have to wait. Um, where is the baked ones? Uh, those are baked. And let me close that on up. Uh, these are baked. Those are baked. Do I have any more? Oh yeah, those are the nearby. Yep, so we're all all set there. So those are the ore that I gathered. Um, they're set to go. My guess is I'm not going to be able to uh, upgrade this. One smelting pot. I might be able to make some of it. Um, where is it? Uh... That's a clay funnel. Smelting pot. Craft that. Let's come over here and... Oh, wait a minute. Is it not? Why does it show me uh, as... Alright, so I don't have to bake that one? All right, now it's going to need a casting tunnel. I don't have enough clay to make a casting tunnel. Casting tunnel. How much clay do I need? Uh, I need two. Uh, before I go out, let me go ahead and hit save game. Yep, we'll save it just in case. I think I can find my way back to my base but to find my way to a deposit could be a little tricky I think it's right here uh, two pieces of clay uh, it's hopefully that's all I need it's dark but it's not dark yet we're fine as so you can see the glow in the distance as the fire is going All right, uh, casting tunnel. Craft that. And come over here. Do I have to bake this one? No, it doesn't say raw. Interesting. Uh, grab the hammer. All right, so now we're all set there. So now if I were to grab this... And then I grab this. It will snap in. This is what I like about building here. You kind of drop it and it will snap in on its own. So there we go. Now I have the material. Kind of. Um, let me go ahead and do this. Drop that in there. Drop that in there. Uh, I need my fire starter. Oh, I got it in my hand. All right. Let's uh, pokey poke. So now when I point at the uh, smelter, you can see in the bottom right hand corner because there's a mold there. It shows me how many ingots I need to make said saw blade. So I need five nuggets. Uh, so put them on the top where it says nugget. One, two, three, four, five. And close that on up so it gets nice and hot. 
see the temperature going up in the smelting furnace. And over time, as we wait, you'll see the molten ore come on out into our little tunnel that we casted. Let me go ahead and put my fire starter on the ground here. If I go up to the mold, it says pick up or take out. Right now, I'm just going to take on out. And boom, there is a saw blade. Uh, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and throw... Uh, not yet. Let me go ahead. Uh, is it tools? Two-handed uh, two saw. So I need two short solid sticks. Uh, yeah, the, the, the crafting continues. Uh, short solid sticks. So these are straight solid, uh, straight solid sticks. But if I grab my axe... I should have... Um, where are they? Oh, sure. Now it wants to rain. I don't have... <laughs> I don't have uh, one of those things built yet. A water collector. That's what I'm saying. Uh, wait, craftables? No, I'm in the wrong. Crafting. I gotta hit E this. Tools. Go ahead and craft that. There we go. Um, so wood processing would be next, but you know what? It is nighttime, guys. It is nighttime, and nighttime should be bedtime for me. Um, we already crafted a saw. So, yeah, next episode, uh, how am I doing on food and water? We're doing pretty darn good. Um, I forgot how it says to put the fire out. There's a way to do it. I read it on Discord, and I forgot... E to open. Um, okay, just exit it. I was hoping I hit X, the whole thing just didn't disappear on me. No, so the fire went out. Save my my firewood. Uh, this one, yeah, we can let that go. Keep me nice and warm-ish through the night. But uh, we did pretty good. We got ourselves a ore crushing station. Uh, a smelting station and an ore processor to smelt things. Uh, you can see how we're going to have to make some tools in the early beginning. Uh, we got a firewood station built. We upgraded our fireplace as well. Got a fire going. We got our working station going and upgraded as well. Uh, so once we really get the wood processing going, right after that, I do believe it'll be time to build the sawmill. Our first uh, big advancement here on our little... Our little survival, uh, as you can call it. Um, and once we get the sawmill going, then uh, we start making a lot of planks. Yeah, I got to make planks to build things. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to build yet. I really haven't got into the building. Uh, but I see a lot of people building out in the water because, um, well, I'll show you once we get there. There are ways to make power. Uh, water turbines, wind turbines, a whole bunch of things to do. But we got plenty of area here. Uh, we're doing pretty good. The ocean, as you just saw, is right on down there to get coconuts. Uh, but we're doing pretty good. But I am going to call it a night, guys. Uh, yeah, second second day here on the island. We did pretty darn good. Uh, but yeah, we're going to wrap it up here for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time right here in the journey of life. But until then, have a good one.